Hi, this video is here to help you use ratio language. Ratio is a way of describing the relationship between two or more objects or parts. Let's begin by looking at these counters and using stem sentences to describe the relationship. How many yellow counters are there? There are three yellow counters. How many blue counters are there? There are five blue counters. What is the relationship between the yellow and the blue counters? We use the language for every when we are describing ratio. For every three yellow counters, there are five blue counters. Sometimes we can express a relationship between objects in different ways. Here we have four yellow counters and eight blue counters. We could say for every four yellow counters, there are eight blue counters. We could also group the counters like this. Now we can see that for every two yellow counters, there are four blue counters. Or we could group the counters like this. For every one yellow counter, there are two blue counters. If we look at the numbers in our ratio sentences, we can look for patterns. When we double the number of yellow counters, we also double the number of blue counters. If we multiply the number of yellow counters by four, we also multiply the number of blue counters by four. If we had three yellow counters, how many blue counters would there be? We have multiplied the number of yellow counters by three, so we need to do the same to the number of blue counters. If we had three yellow counters, we would have six blue counters. For every three yellow counters, there are six blue counters. Now it's your turn. Here we have some apples and bananas. Can you fill in the stem sentences and describe the ratio of apples to bananas in two different ways? If you've got counters, you could use these to help you as well. Let's check your answers. There are two apples, there are six bananas. For every two apples, there are six bananas. You could also say for every one apple, there are three bananas. For the final challenge, can you fill in the missing boxes in these stem sentences? Pause here and have a go. Remember, if you multiply or divide one of the parts, you also have to multiply or divide the other part by the same number. Here are the answers. How did you get on? You can see the calculations you should have done to help you get the answers. I hope this video helped you understand how to use ratio language. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website, so why not go and check them out? Hi, this video is here to help you understand and use the ratio symbol. Ratio is a way of describing the relationship between two or more objects or parts. If you haven't already, it might be a good idea to watch our video explaining the language of ratio first. Here we have some counters. There are two green counters and five red counters. For every two green counters, there are five red counters. So we can see that the ratio of green counters to red counters is two to five. We use a ratio symbol, which is a colon, to show this. When we use a ratio symbol, it's important to get the numbers the correct way round. The ratio of green counters to red counters is two to five. The number of green counters comes first, then red. The ratio of red counters to green counters would be five to two. The number of red counters first, then green. Sometimes we compare more than two parts using ratio. For example, what is the ratio of red to blue to green counters here? First of all, we can count the counters of each colour, making sure to keep the numbers in the same order as they are in the question. There are four red counters, there are 10 blue counters, there are six green counters. The ratio of red to blue to green counters is four to 10 to six. 
We can simplify this ratio in the same way as we would if we simplify a fraction. The numbers 4, 10 and 6 are all even numbers, which means they all have 2 as a factor. We can divide them all by 2 and still have a whole number. If we do this, we are left with the ratio 2 to 5 to 3. The ratio of red to green to blue counters is 2 to 5 to 3. If we regroup our counters, we can check that this is true. For every two red counters, there are five blue counters and three green counters. Now it's your turn. What is the ratio of purple to orange counters here? Remember to simplify the ratio if you can. There are nine purple counters. There are three orange counters. The ratio of purple counters to orange counters is 9 to 3. We can divide both numbers by 3 to simplify the ratio to 3 to 1. Some yellow counters have been added to the group. What is the ratio of yellow to purple to orange counters now? The ratio of yellow counters to purple counters to orange counters is 4 to 9 to 3. 4 and 9 and 3 don't share any factors except 1, so we can't divide them all by the same number and get a whole number answer. Therefore, we can't simplify this ratio any further. Now it's time for a challenge. There is some fruit in a bowl. The ratio of apples to bananas is 3 to 4. If there are 12 bananas, how many apples are there? Pause here and have a go at solving this problem. If you're stuck, unpause for a visual clue. This might help you answer the question. If we know what the number of bananas in the ratio has been multiplied by, we can multiply the number of apples in the ratio by the same amount to get our answer. Now, try and solve the problem if you haven't already got an answer. We multiplied the number of bananas in the ratio by 3 to get 12. If we also multiply the number of apples in the ratio by 3, we get 9. If there are 12 bananas, there are 9 apples. I hope this video helped you to understand and use the ratio symbol. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website. So why not go and check them out? This video is here to help you solve ratio problems. Ratio is a way of describing the relationship between two or more objects or parts. If you haven't already, it might be useful to go back and watch our videos explaining ratio language and the ratio symbol first. In this video, we're going to be looking at different representations that can be used to help to solve ratio problems. In a fruit bowl, there are two apples for every three bananas. There are two apples, there are three bananas. The ratio of apples to bananas is two to three. Remember, we use the ratio symbol, which is a colon, between the numbers and the parts stay in the same order as in the question. We could represent the ratio using counters, a bar model, or a double number line. You don't need to use all the representations but can pick the one you find the easiest to use and understand. Now let's look at some of the types of ratio problems we might need to solve. Question one, if there are six apples, how many bananas are there? Let's use the double number line to help solve this problem. First of all, let's add the information that we know. We know that there are six apples. Let's look at the multiplicative relationship between two and six. This means, what do we multiply 2 by to get 6? We multiply 2 by 3 to make 6. If we are multiplying the number of apples by 3, we need to also multiply the number of bananas by 3. We can now see that if there are 6 apples, there will be 9 bananas. This is how it would look without using the number line. Question 2. If there are 20 pieces of fruit all together, how many of them are apples? Let's use counters to help us solve this problem. The green counters are representing apples and the yellow counters are representing bananas. 
For this type of question, we need to look at the total number of pieces of fruit. In the original ratio, we have five pieces of fruit. We want the total to be 20 pieces of fruit. We can create multiple groups like this and the ratio will stay the same. Now we have 10 counters or pieces of fruit all together. Now we have 15 pieces of fruit all together. Now we have 20 pieces of fruit all together. We can see that if there are 20 counters all together, eight of them are green, so there would be eight apples. This is how it would look without using the counters. We know that the total was four times greater, so we also need to multiply the numbers in the ratio by four. Question three. If there are three more bananas than apples, how many of each type of fruit are there? For this type of question, we need to look at the difference between the numbers in the ratio because we are comparing them. We'll use a bar model to solve this problem. Using the numbers in the original ratio, we can see that the difference between them is one. We want the difference to be three. We can make the bars bigger, but we need to remember to keep the numbers of apples and bananas in proportion. We can add two apples and three bananas, as these are the numbers in our ratio. Now we have four apples and six bananas. The difference this time is two. Let's repeat this by adding another set of two apples and three bananas. Now we can see that the difference between them is three. Now that we have a difference of three, we know that there are six apples and nine bananas. This is how it would look without using the bar model. We know that the difference was three times greater, so we also need to multiply the numbers in the ratio by three. You can see how we can use representations to help us solve ratio problems. Remember, the relationship is a multiplicative one, which means we can only multiply or divide, not add or subtract. Now it's your turn. If you find it helpful, you could use one of the representations we've looked at to help you answer the questions, or you might just want to use the abstract method. In a car park, there are red and blue cars. For every three blue cars, there are five red cars. What is the ratio of blue cars to red cars? Pause here and write down the ratio then unpause to check your answer. The ratio of blue cars to red cars is three to five. Now use this ratio to answer the questions. Question one, if there are 30 red cars, how many blue cars are there? Question two, if there are 64 cars all together, how many of them are blue? Question three, if there are 20 more red cars than blue cars, how many red cars are there? Pause here and have a go. If you get stuck, you might find it useful to go back and watch the examples from earlier in the video. Here are the answers. Question one. If there are 30 red cars, there are 18 blue cars. Question two. If there are 64 cars all together, 24 of them are blue. If there are 20 more red cars than blue cars, there are 50 red cars. Great work! I hope this video helped you understand how to solve ratio problems. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website, so go and check them out.